the most unknown place on our planet is the world ocean. Very rarely do archaeologists manage to discover anything there. In this video, I will show you findings that even scientists were horrified by. Lost civilizations and treasure troves, and recently, at the bottom of the ocean, divers discovered the remains of the most gigantic creature that has ever lived on our planet. Hi friend, you are on the Kurtop channel. Last Meal Researchers from the UK have studied the mummy of a crocodile caught in ancient Egypt. A fish with a hook was found in the stomach of a 2-meter predator, which caused the death of the reptile. The mummy, 2-3,000 years old, is housed in the Birmingham Museum and Art Gallery. During the time of the pharaohs, animals were often mummified, especially crocodiles, which were considered sacred. Using X-ray and computer scans, scientists virtually removed the hook and recreated a replica of it in bronze. Scans showed that during its lifetime, the crocodile had swallowed many small stones called gastrolus, which help break down meat and regulate buoyancy. The last prey died before reaching the stomach and was not affected by digestive enzymes or gastrolus. Scientists believe that the crocodile was specially caught using live bait, after which it was mummified as an offering to the gods back. Your Spring Rook the boat was found in the Hjørspren Bog in Denmark and is the oldest planked ship in Northern Europe, dating back approximately 2,300 years. The boat is almost 20 meters long, weighs 530 kilograms, and could carry 24 people with weapons and equipment. The boat's planks were made of basswood, the oars were made of maple, and there were curved extensions at each end. This boat is an outstanding example of ancient shipbuilding, showing the high level of craftsmanship and engineering knowledge of the time. Linen was chosen for its lightness and strength, which made the boat fast and maneuverable, and maple for the oars for its hardness and stability. Ancient Inscriptions of the Pharaohs in the Nile Archaeological divers at the bottom of the murky waters of the Nile in Egypt examined algae-covered rock formations. At first glance, the stones seemed unremarkable. However, upon closer examination, scientists discovered several inscriptions associated with the ancient pharaohs. A joint team of Egyptian and French archaeologists decided to explore the ruins in the reservoir in Aswan. On their layer of algae, they found several carvings that were at least 2,300 years old. The images ranged from drawings of ancient Egyptian pharaohs to hieroglyphs. The photo shows several well-preserved carved figures. The shapes are blurred by water and quite difficult to distinguish. One set of lettering appears to be a row of mannequin hats above two objects that resemble tombstones. These ancient inscriptions are still being studied. Archaeologists believe that these finds will help to better understand how the ancient kings ruled in those distant times. Ritual Table in Tavatipa in Azerbaijan, a team of Italian and Azerbaijani archaeologists discovered a 3,500-year-old ritual table in the ancient settlement of Tava Tipe. This place is located near the borders of Armenia, Georgia, and Azerbaijan. During the excavations, a round-shaped adobe building was found. The structure includes a kitchen area and a ritual table. Between 1,500 and 750 BC, Late Bronze Age and Early Iron Age, nomadic people probably used Tava Tipe as a resting place before traveling through the mountains. Archaeologists found a ritual table with eight recesses and many ceramic containers, bowls, vessels made of black fired ceramics, and long flat stones for mixing food. In the corner of the kitchen, there is a thick layer of ash and clay tokens with fingerprints, which could serve as food coupons. The entrance originally had wooden columns, and a thatched roof covered the entire complex, which was about 15 meters in diameter. Animal bones and discarded pottery were found outside. The human figurines placed in the sacrificial pits and the fact that the structure was sealed along with all the utensils indicate its ceremonial nature. New species of dinosaurs in Siberia in the Kamarava region, Russian scientists discovered the skeleton of a dinosaur which turned out to be a previously unknown species. It was named Kia Kersalongapis, which means long-toothed runner from the Kia River. The fossils were found after a huge rock fell from a rocky cliff with petrified bones taken out of the rock. The skeleton was found in the territory of the Great Siberian Refugium, where relics of the Jurassic period were preserved. Some salamanders, primary crocodiles and docodons, primitive mammals. The fossils were 
studied using X-rays, CT scans, and microscopes. It turned out that the dinosaur lived in Siberia from 113 to 121 million years ago. The skeleton was partially preserved, ribs, vertebrae, a humerus, both feet and legs were identified. The specimen was classified as a ceratosaur, a group of running dinosaurs with two small legs. This is the first such discovery from the Cretaceous period in Asia. Until now, it was believed that ceratosaurs became extinct in this part of the world 40 million years earlier. The unique proportions of the hind limbs with an elongated third digit allowed it to run better. Zoologists determined that the dinosaur grew to 2.5 meters in length and was an adult animal, but no older than 3 years. Sunken ship with lead ingots about 2,000 years ago, a Roman ship sank in the Mediterranean Sea with valuable cargo, including massive lead ingots. The heaviest of them weighs 68 kilograms, which is about 205 Roman pounds, according to the University of Alicante. Markings on the ingot indicate that they belonged to a Roman emperor, possibly Nero. In addition, there were about 3,000 cans of fish sauce on board the ship. This sauce, known as the garum, was popular in Roman cuisine and was widely used as a seasoning. The ship was was about 32 meters long and was probably en route from Cadiz to Rome when it sank. The ship not only carried valuable metals, but also foodstuffs important to the Roman diet. Exploring the shipwreck provides a unique opportunity to study the shipbuilding technologies and trading methods of the ancient Romans. Ancient Stone Circles in Saudi Arabia Archaeologists in Saudi Arabia have unearthed eight ancient stone circles that served as habitations for people more than 7,000 years ago. Some 345 such structures have been identified through aerial photography in the Kirat Yuvalrid lava field near the city of Alula in northwestern Saudi Arabia. The stone circles range from 4 to 8 meters in diameter and include at least one standing stone in the center. During excavations, archaeologists discovered many stone tools made of basalt. Almost 225 kilograms of stone tools or their fragments were recovered from only five circles. Bones of sheep, goats, and cows were also found. The finds included a variety of seashells from the Red Sea, located about 120 kilometers to the west. The round shape of houses was a global phenomenon in early architecture, and rectangular houses appeared later in the Neolithic period. The architecture of standing stone circles in Saudi Arabia is similar to structures found in Jordan, dating back approximately 500 years. The people who built these structures also raised sheep, goats, and cattle. The most mysterious people in Europe Archaeologists have discovered a Roman-era altar at a monastery on Mount Eriondi in northern Spain. It is dedicated to the mysterious deity Larja. The find is dated to the 1st century AD, is important for studying the religious practices of the Vascans, one of the most mysterious people of the Europe. This altar is one of four known Laraji altars, but the only one found during excavations. The artifact was discovered at the bottom of a well in the Donisteve monastery. On the altar, there is an inscription, Valeria Vitella fulfills her vow to Laraji freely and deservedly. Mount Erendi, inhabited since Roman times, is located in the valley of the Galena River near Pamplona. Its strategic position has made the site important throughout history as evidenced by the remains of Roman infrastructure and the later monastery dedicated to St. Stephen. Little is known about Larici. Only three other altars testify to the worship of this deity. The new find expands the known geographical distribution of the Larici cult. Treasure from the Seabed Archaeologists have discovered two sunken ships from the Min Dynasty in the South China Sea that have lain on the bottom for almost 500 years. More than 900 unique artifacts were found in these ships, from copper coins to fine porcelain. The Min Dynasty is known for its artistic achievements and vigorous trade. Chinese ships sailed to India and Europe, where blue and white porcelain was extremely popular. Some ships ended their journey at the bottom of the sea, leaving behind time capsules. In 2022, two merchant ships were found at a depth of almost 1,500 meters and at a distance of about 22 kilometers from each other. In 2023, researchers began studying and collecting artifacts, submersibles were used to retrieve objects, and cameras and lasers were used to create 3D maps. 890 objects were recovered from the first ship, including copper coins and porcelain. From the second, 38 objects, such as deer antlers and ceramics. The ships may have sailed from Jindijin, a porcelain export center. The discovered items 
as striking examples of Ming era art. The ships became important witnesses to trade and cultural exchanges along the Maritime Silk Road. The Longest Mound in Europe Archaeologists in eastern Bohemia have found the longest Neolithic mound in Europe, about 5,300 years old. The discovery was made in June during road work in the Hrade Kralov area. The mound near the village of Dogolitsa, about 190 meters long and up to 15 meters wide, belongs to the funnel beaker culture. Although the above-ground structure has been lost due to agricultural activity, archaeologists have excavated its entrance, identified by a preserved pit and ditch. Inside the mound, two central barrels were found, probably belonging to important persons, and 28 additional graves. These barrels will undergo further laboratory analysis for accurate dating. The first central burial included the pit with drains and post holes as well as a ceramic offering vessel. The second burial had no internal structure, but the body was laid on its left side. Archaeologists also found funerary objects such as pottery fragments, flint arrowheads, and a blade. These finds provide valuable information about the burial practices and cultural traditions of the time. Ancient Roman Supermarket in the Ocean Archaeologists have discovered an ancient Roman supermarket in the Channel Islands off the coast of France where various goods were traded. Research began in 2008 and resulted in the discovery of two Romans pointing to this discovery. One coin shows Caesar as a teenager, another shows the emperor killed by the invading Goths. The island of Alderney, the northernmost of the Channel Islands, may have served the Romans as a trading post. Archaeologist Jason Monaghan noted that remains of Roman buildings, including a grotto, were found here, indicating a continued Roman presence. They could monitor the ships bringing goods from the Mediterranean to France. Archaeologists believe that Roman soldiers lived on the island, controlling trade routes and protecting them from pirates. Families of soldiers and Roman officials may also have lived here. In 2017, using electrical equipment, Iron Age barrels and parts of a Roman building were discovered on the island, confirming long-term occupation. Excavations revealed that the Roman-era building had three rooms, a courtyard, a paved area and a rubbish dump, where one of the coins was found, Antoninian, dating back to 255 AD, equivalent to two denarii. In another layer of the building was found a bronze coin of the Roman co-emperor Valens, dating from 364-367, who was killed at the Battle of Adrianople. The remains of Roman fort were discovered approximately 27 meters from the building. Archaeologists believe many more Roman-era buildings may be hidden beneath the sand dunes, creating the effect of a mini Pompeii. Twice the weight of a whale the prehistoric cow lived approximately 40 million years ago in water. German paleontologists from the State Museum of Natural History in Stuttgart discovered its remains in the south of Peru, where there was an ocean on prehistoric times. 13 vertebrae were found, each weighing a hundred weight for one and a half meter ribs and a giant femur. The excavation site was a shallow bay that divided the equatorial part of the continent in half. Scientists have determined that the remains belong to a creature that lived about 40 million years ago. Ago. The creature weighed approximately 340 tons. This makes it the heaviest animal to ever exist on Earth. Even the giant brontosaurs were lighter. After studying the find, scientists came to the conclusion that these huge creatures swam slowly, dived shallowly, and fed on what they found at the bottom – algae, mollusks, and small fish. In their lifestyle, they resembled sea cows, which people exterminated in the 18th century. Outwardly, they most likely also looked like sea cows, although in fact they were ancient whales of the genus Basilosaurus. City in the Heart of the Sahara Central Sahara in Niger is a territory practically inaccessible to people. Any tourist traveling south from the Mediterranean coast faces a huge number of obstacles. Giant dunes, sweltering heat, and drying winds create a landscape almost devoid of life. But those who penetrate the depth of the Great Desert are in for a surprise. Surrounded by sandy canyons, on a lonely plateau are the ruins of the huge fortified city of Jado. These ruins, which range in age from 800 to 1000 years, are a mystery. The city appeared when this part of the desert was much more humid and fertile. Little is known about the inhabitants of these places and who built the city remains unknown. The fortified city of Jada is Aksar, a typical North African fortified settlement. Such settlements typically consist of residential structures built around a central food warehouse with an emphasis on defensive functions. Xars like Jada were built from palm trunks covered with an adobe mixture hardened by the desert winds to the hardness of metal. What sets Jada apart from most similar Xars is its incredible 
incredible size. The colossal fortress rises above the desert, making the rest of the landscape insignificant. The Kanuri people who inhabit the desert in the center of the Sahara were the last known inhabitants of this place. Perhaps they inherited the city from an older culture about which no data has been preserved. The turning point that forced the Kanuri to leave Jada was probably the drying up of drinking water. As the green landscape turned into desert, the water became brackish and the environment too harsh for survival. People lived on the Jado Plateau for about 60,000 years, leaving rock paintings and other evidence of their presence. Small cattle were bred here as early as 7,000 BC, and cattle appeared around 3,500 BC. Rock art discovered in the Air Mountains is approximately 5,500 to 4,500 years old. They depict the world with dense vegetation and an abundance of animals, completely unlike the modern landscape. Today, getting to the once great city can be difficult. This part of the world is unstable and the tribes inhabiting the area are constantly fighting for limited resources. The Kanuri now live in the nearby desert village of Churfa, but return to their ancestral site every year to harvest the dates. Strangely, the date palms continue to bear fruit. Kanuri is a remnant of the ancient Kanem civilization, which reigned in the central Sahara from 700 to 1380. The origins of this empire are shrouded in mystery, and it is unknown whether Jado was founded during this period or even earlier. If the Kanem built Jado, then excavations can reveal a lot about this culture, but if they inherited it, perhaps someday they will be able to discover something else, hidden from human eyes and protected by the desert, to reveal all its secrets. And you can learn even more secrets about the ancient world on our channel. The secrets of ancient Egypt, where did the Mayans go, and the history of ancient China are waiting for you in new videos. Thank you for watching this video to the end. Bye, everyone!